Oh, Tech Chrome is here again. And now we're continuing the PC build with installing the, a little bit of an oddball item. It's called a sound, separate sound card. And usually you don't put those in computers nowadays. But anyway, if you want the justification why I'm using this, then you can just um, pop over to my unboxing video related to this. You get the reasons why I'm using it. So anyway, so this is a PCI one slot one X um, cord. So we're going to install it in one of the one X um, PCI slots, and these are these shorter connectors. Where did I put my screwdriver? Huh. Again, not preparing for. Hmm. Oh, found it. Huh. Okay, let's see that. And there's also a little bit of an exciting card there that actually has a power supply connector. So it's a sound card that requires separate power even more odd. So I actually reserved on um, the uh, PCI um, E connector cable from, from the power supply and then this is the, the connector that goes into the power supply. So I'll show you that when we get there. And I suppose we should try to use our anti-static protection. Zap the cord, or the motherboard. Okay, so I think it's actually this one. So I'm just unscrew this. Take out the old back plate. And then they've actually designed it so you can. It's the, well, the most flimsy. Uh -huh, it's going to be in the way of the. F oh well. If we have this fan, this is going to be the graphics card up here. So I wouldn't like to put it up there. And then there's one that's lower, but then I will get even closer to the fan. Now I think I'm going to leave it here. You can actually, if it looks like this, and you know. But the good thing is that if this blows, it's going in here now, and part of the airflow will actually end up hitting the sound card. Actually, yeah, we'll try that. Actually, it'll be not so good for the lighting effect. But we'll see when we get it powered. If it looks awful, then I can move. I will just um, unscrew this and move it. is to get the power for it.
So, we got this one here. And, um, these are keyed. The locking mechanism is a bit dumb. But it is keyed, so it should be okay. Just the funny the the lip that this locking mechanism gets connected to isn't down in line. It should be correct. We will see if smoke comes out, then obviously it was a wrong choice. There's going to be cables from the graphics card also. So. Yeah, I might be able to use this on the graphics card. I actually don't have the graphics card yet, so I don't exactly know. I don't know exactly how many connectors there's going to be. This is it going to use one or two? So maybe that will actually end up going to the graphics card. And then when I get the graphics card, then I know the spacing here, so I might be able to move the sound card up to here. We'll see. Headlight is needed. We'll to see where, where this is to be plugged into. Peripheral and so so it's those connector. Let's see if I can actually I actually um, screw this in. I'll unscrew it if this turns out to be too difficult. But I think I should be able to work this in. This is the stuff for every PC. 
build video edits away. No one actually, actually sometimes ends up struggling with connectors. Tell me I have to screw it just because of one connector. to take off. It's so actually just one screw at the bottom and then we unscrew those two and then we pop it out. So. <laughs> Probably wasn't even worth struggling. connectors are actually the bottom three and then there's actually two connectors at the top there for the PCI and they're all keyed so one can't plug them into the wrong place. I'll close this up I don't know if I need to come back here for the graphics card. We'll see. Quite a big back panel now. Okay, so um as mentioned in the unboxing video, one of my main purposes for getting a separate sound card is that I'm a bit fed up with the uh, with the um, uh, optical output SPD IF. Sometimes it's available, sometimes it's not, sometimes you actually say the motherboard says that it's available like this one said it was available and then it turns out that you need a um, adapter cord, a separate adapter cord um, to be able to actually pull it, get it out of the case and they don't sell the adapter cords at least in my region. So not so nice Asus, I think you could they could have made a better job of that. But anyway, I ended up buying the sound cord instead because then I can actually change motherboards and I just switch the sound card and then I get my SPDIF connector always. I don't care about whether the motherboard has it or not. And it comes with this adapter and now I was just looking where Ah, of course it was on the first page. So you, you basically plug it into the into that. So in this case it is this one, that hole. And then you get the um, for those that are familiar with <coughs> optical output, then you get the um, yeah, the SPDIF.
cover on just put it back in the box. <laughs> it's the first first time for very many years that I've installed the sound card and then um, even more odd the sound card that has its own um, PCI <laughs> power cables. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how it performs. They, they, they do maintain that it actually performs rather well so so we'll see. So that's that's that part done. And, um, yeah, I, there will be many that install a sound card. If there's somebody out there doing it, then at least I can see how how it's done. Yeah, if you found this video interesting, you know, think of subscribing. If you want to see some more videos because this PC build isn't done yet and um, hit the bell button and um, I'll see everybody in the next one.